Yeah, work them fucking tail feathers, baby! We're back in part four, taking a little breakle from Resident Evil. Just a little, little dippy doo, a little tatteration. I'm not sure what that means, but that's all right. Banjo Kazurzer, McGurger. Here we are, as you can see. It's the next puzzle. I'm gonna hit this button. Which button is it? There was a button that did it. Let me find it. There was like one button that was. Oh, he's gonna tell me right now. Oh. Bottles, you crazy guy! You knew I thought. You knew what I thought in my brain, and then we did it. Clanker's Cavern. Okay, that's actually a pretty fun level. It's the third world. If you're keeping track now. Oh, ho, 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 I'm I'm falling all over the gaff. So I ha I missed some dumbass fucking egg thing in Treasure Trove Cove. Which I forgot is that mountain in the middle of the fucking water, that island. It, there's this whole fucking retarded uh, stop and swap thing from the olden days of when Banjo Kazooie first came out for Nintendo 64 that I'm not gonna even fucking go into. If you wanna know about stop and swap, fucking look it up and figure out what the hell uh, I'm talking about. But it's something they never finished, it was never in the game, and it was like, it was just like years and years of rumors and all this shit, and people were like, Oh, it's like a slap and drop on the game, I don't want it. So when they finally released it on the Xbox Live Arcade, and they made Banjo-Tooie, and I think that was when Nuts and Bolts was coming out, the 360 game, they a finally added the stop and swap feature, which it was supposed to be a feature where you could carry shit over from Banjo-Kazooie 1 to Banjo-Kazooie 2 for the N64. It was called stop and swap, because you're supposed to like, stop playing in the middle of gameplay and just like switch out cartridges or some shit, but it didn't work and they never finished it and blah 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 blah, but there was like pieces of it left in the game, so people were always like, oh, it's stop and swap of the game, it's gotta work. So they finally added it to the Xbox Live edition, but at this point now, it's just like, they added it to please people, like, look, it's stop and swap, and it gives you dumbass shit in nuts and bolts, and I think in Tui, I'm not sure, but it's actually not even there, like, the island is raised, but the egg, because they're all eggs, and then there's one, I fucking fell, and then there's one key, the island's there, and it's raised, but the egg isn't there yet because I think you have to like play um, nuts and bolts and have nuts and bolts data, which I have. I fucking perfected that game. Yeah, 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 yeah! DLC included, but it's not on this hard drive or whatever. So I'd have to like pop it in even for that egg to appear. It's not like I recorded footage of me running up there before I started this video to do a pickup of me getting the egg and the egg wasn't in there. And then I decided, fuck that. I'm not going to go through all the trouble of putting in nuts and bolts just to film this stupid pick up the egg. I'm not going to do that. That definitely didn't happen before this video. But if that were the case, I may at some point in between parts film pickup of picking that up and any more if I pass them by the time I get to it. But I'll have to fucking dig out nuts and bolts from somewhere and pop that bitch in if... That's actually how you get the shit to appear. I don't remember. I know it all ties in with with this, with the sequel on uh, the arcade, and Nuts and Bolts. Fucking knowledge, right? I'd say it's power, but it's not. It's fucking worthless, what I just told you. But, now we're in Clanker's Cavern. And look at that, before you even notice, we got eight musical notes. It's like we're practically done with this level. These, these levels are also probably, probably starting with this one, unless I make it a little long, maybe I will. Definitely Bubble Goop Swamp, which is next. And as I forget all this shit, these levels are gonna start being more than one part. Which is the whole point why I started this Let's Play. I was like, hey, I feel like taking a break from RE4. Can always do this. How do I do the thing again? How do I... Wait. How do I... Oh, it's X. Okay, got it. If you hold A and then... Oh, fuck, no, wait. You learned that in part two. Damn it! You have to time the X button to swim, like, perfectly. Like, if you hit X every time he can take a stroke, that's the best. Or maybe just hold X. Maybe I was wrong. In part two, you can hold A and do this. Look at this, he's fucking clanker. What are you going on about? Fucking, what? You, in part, uh... In part two, you could hold A and hit X, and you swim, like, super duper fast. Drowning is also an issue in this game. You don't want to do it. It's very easy to drown in this level, especially if you're new to the game and not that familiar with it. There's Clanker, by the way. It's his cavern. He's the guy. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy, McKillicuddy. I've always liked Clanker. I've always thought he was a swell fellow because he's a giant shark monster. 
right? And your first thought is like, oh, fuck, giant shark monster, fuck you. But no, he's a nice guy. He's pretty cool. The upside, if I have to start making these two parts, as I stated earlier, I think I said in the last part, is if you die or leave the level, you still retain the amount of notes you found. So thankfully, if I have to stop, I can get like 50 notes and then fucking continue where I left off. So you'll definitely drown under here if you don't look for these guys with the bubbles and swim through them like I'm desperately doing now because I have three hearts. There we go. So I want to fucking swim through that. Oh, there we go. Get a little bit of health back. Sometimes it's hard to tell just with like depth perception of where the fuck you are and where the bubbles are. But if you just get up right up on this guy, like, oh, yeah, right up on him. And you use the A button to kind of, like, precise steer. Precisely? There you go. That's what I was looking for. Use the X button to move quickly and use the A button when you want to just, like, tweak your movements a little bit. Like, oh, well, a little fudge it. A little fudgy. McFudgington. Fudge it to the right. That's what you do. You just hit the, uh, the A button. The A button's for fudging. Initially, the uh, Xbox or Microsoft was going to call it the fudge button. They opted against it. Not sure why, but just remember that. Oh, it's gonna break soon. Get it! Yeah, I got that shit. Okay, got all the fucking... Did I get the Jinjo? I got all the fucking notes. I know that. Not just notes, fucking notes. Very important, there's a difference. So when you get everything, find this fucking key. I really liked this game as a kid. I Like I said, I've said this before. I thought it was a fun, a more fun version of Super Mario. And it's stuff like this. Like, you never do anything in Super Mario. Like, this is an event. I don't know. To me, it's like you got to swim through the key three times to trigger it. You know, it's like something you got to do in game. You got to use your brain. You got to figure it out. There's a lot of things in this game, and specifically in this level, that key right there. And then Clanker, I'll show you in a second. See his tooth there, like the gold tooth? There's a rotted tooth on each side of his mouth, and you have to shoot the tooth with an egg to break it and then go inside of it. And as a kid, I fucking can't remember how old I was when this game came out. Probably, probably around 13 or something. I probably already said that, but as a kid, it took me fucking forever to figure out, and I didn't have uh, the interwebs back then, but when you did, it's like, I'm the smartest person alive. You know, Mario would just, like, get the star, beat the level. Get the star, beat the level. You never got any more moves. Mario's a fucking great game. I love it, but you never got any more moves. This, you got moves. You got, like, you know, they're not necessarily puzzles, but shit you gotta figure out. Use your brainy. I don't know. I always thought this was more adventurous. This definitely feels like way more of an adventure than the Mario game. And, I mean, the Mario was a launch title. So, I'm not knocking Mario 64. Mario 64 is a great game. It's the reason why I got a Nintendo 64. I saw it in Toys R Us. And I played the, like, the store model that was sitting there. And I was like, oh my god, these graphics are amazing. They're fucking utter crap. They made me want to vomit inside my own mouth and then feed it to my unborn children. But... At the time, it was pretty fucking impeccable. I was jealous like a move. I remember I had friends that actually didn't buy a 64, but Blockbuster at the time. <laughs> remember when Blockbuster was still around? It's funny that they're still around. Just seriously, guys. Like, when when are you just going to give it up? It's it's over, right? You know that, right? Your, your time has passed. <sighs> when, uh... I don't I remember how to fucking get this thing to open. Do I just do this? Do I just shoot it? Hang on, let me just shoot it. Yup, 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 look at that, right? Like shit like that doesn't happen in Mario. It's you'd get up there and the star would be there. Maybe some people prefer that way because it's simpler. But me, I like this game. I like John Lovitz, not gonna lie. John Lovitz was a huge sell in this game. I think I already mentioned I got the tape from Nintendo and John Lovitz did the voiceover and was like, ah, oh, I'm buying this game. I fucking love John Lovitz, even at the time, I was like a 12 year old kid, for some reason because my mother's demented and made me watch whatever the fuck she watched, but also my mother has fucking, has taste, she watched The Critic, I watched The Critic like a motherfucker before this game, so at the age of like 12 or 13, I was probably one of the only people that when I saw the trailer for this game and heard the voiceover from John Lovitz, I was like, my god, that's John Lovitz from The Critic, that show's incredible, I must buy this game. And the game did not disappoint, so thank you, Mr. Lovitz. You can thank John Lovitz himself for the Let's Play that you're getting right now. Yeah, it's true. Just hanging out, waiting for the old fin lift. Beep, beep, beep. I, I remember as a kid, too, I didn't realize you could kill those things. What a pain in the ass this game was, not knowing you could kill those things. I'd have to, I, I would, like, bait them. So they popped out, and then as soon as they did, scramble for my life to grab whatever the fuck I wanted, and then GTFO. Ooh, that was close. Ekum bokum, ekum bokum, ekum 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 bokum. 
Uh, watch this, ready? This guy's gonna get fucked. Oh, he didn't get fucked because he busted my face in the fall, but now he's gonna get fucking fucked when he fucked my fucking face. He kicked my ass. It's a matter of pride at this point. Ooh, ooh, give me that life. Give me that sweet, sweet honeycomb. I'm like Winnie the Pooh, bitch. Just fill me up on honey. Honey magic. Honey money. All right, aim this up. Mm. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Hang on. <clears throat> I had something in my eye. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Suck the guy's wee wee. He's not asking for much. Eekum bokum. Another. There's another bokum that's been eekumed. It's probably a jiggy on the other side, that means. Sucks because I can't get it. I'll have to blast out the other tooth like I did this one. Um, but this is inside Clanker's belly boo. This is where he eats all this shit, and you can see why he's not feeling well. His teeth are fucked up, by the way. He's all like, they're teeth. They hurt, they're sore, because they're rotted. Let me tell you why they're rotted. This guy eats some disgusting shit. I'm not even going to kill that dude. Like, you're not even worth my time. <laughs> these, I, I don't know, I always kind of saw these as like tonsils slash little dicks. And they will try and whack you, like dicks. If you've ever been in a room full of, uh, full of rogue dicks, they will try to slap the shit out of you. Complicated puzzle here, what you gotta do? Swim through the green rings, not the blue ones, they won't do it. But the green ones. Where is it? Is it in the water? No, it's up top, throw me for a loop. What do I do? Can I even get it? Probably not. Wait a minute. Fucked it up. Hang on. Jump through, stupid. There we go. Perfection. Perfection. I, I don't think there's anyone that could have done that any fat. Speed run is what people are saying. I, I mean, you know, I, I'm just trying to be humble here, but people insist. Like, no, you speed run, bro. Speed run. Holy shit. Go, 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 go. Don't want to do that again. Fucking photo finish one second. That is just threading the needle. That's what I do because my dick's so small I could fit it through a fucking needle. Not the pointy part. I mean the end. Like you know how like needles have the little holes in them, like for for the fucking yarn and shit. That's where my dick would fit because I just threaded it and I shredded it like fucking auto rocket. Woody, 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 woody. Woogity, woogity, woogity is what I was trying to say, and I had a fucking stroke. This guy's belly is just like a convoluted mess where you can go in a lot of directions, but it always like kicks you out, kind of, if that makes sense. You have to like, you have to clear one section and then do it again. So I got those notes, and I'm going to go through here, and now I'm outside. See, so like... Gotta go back in. I think you can go inside his scales, too, on the other side. Which will do momentarily. But before that, you can also jump in there. There's, like, this guy's a fucking slut. He should be a porn star. There's, like, 15 ways you can get inside of Clanker. That was incredible. That was just fucking flawless victory. His toothache's gone. He's happy. Bam. There's another fucking jiggy for me. Not you, but me. We got four, we got four already? Wow. I didn't think I was this good. I underestimated myself. Good job, self. Titan of the industry. The Banjo-Kazooie industry. I don't know if I'll do a Let's Play on Banjo-Tooie, only because that game is like 10 times bigger than this game. Some people don't like it. I don't understand why they wouldn't. I feel like it's the ultimate sequel because it takes everything that's amazing about this game and makes it better. For example, you start with every single ability that you've learned in this game. No game does that. Like Metroid Prime's perfect example. Metroid Prime, you start the game like, all right, and then something gets fucked up and you lose all your abilities. All right, it's game one, that's fine. You get all your shit back, you beat the game. Prime 2 starts, you get, like, knocked into a wall or some shit. It's like, lost all your shit again. It's like, fuck. I'd like to start with some of the shit I collected the entire last game. Especially when it's a it's a continuing storyline. It picks up after, like, right after the last fucking game. And it's like, oh, lost all your shit. banjo Kazooie's like, nah, fuck that. You got all your shit. But wait, there's more. You're gonna get, like, fucking 80 more new abilities this game. No, get out of first person mode, retard. I forgot what button it was. It's X. It's X! 
this move is incredible. It used Be it uses Biko's wings as a shield. I didn't read the rest of what he said. I was still doing Banjo's voice for some reason on a bottle. Like, Shut the fuck up! Yeah, I get it. I'm invincible. I push the buttons and I'm invincible. Is that the only thing I learned in this world? Yeah, it is. Check this out. Oh, fucking... Well, oh, what's happening? What's happening? This is like what happens when I play online. It's just like people are like, oh my god, he's invincible. How can I stop him? How can I stop him? Hint. You can't. You can't. I'm like a fucking machine. I'm like a robot. Oh! Oh, god! Oh! No, no, no! Oh, I forgot! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Forgot for a second what the controls were for the invincibility. Now that I got it, no problem. Another jiggy in the bag. We're jiggying it up. Alright, that's most of the jiggies inside this dude, but not all of them. There's, there's another one. Which way? I came from that way. And I flew up there. Hang on. Observe a little bit. There's a little bit of tippy tippy too. Okay, I can fall through there, I think. <clears throat> There's a Jinjo in here somewhere. Under Wawa. That means water. I think that's the last way I went. Where is he? Taze. Oh. 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 Huh. Maybe it is back over here. There's a spot where you swim down the side and you can go down. This isn't it, apparently. Let's check the other side. So it's another time we've gone inside and outside of Clanker. Yeah, he loves it when we go inside of him. <laughs> oh, perfect fucking timing. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like an asshole contracting. Con contracting and retracting? I don't, I don't think that's right, but it looked like an asshole. It looked like a starfish. And it was like... <laughs> like he was letting a fart out. And then his asshole tightened again, but then it got real loose. Like someone lubed it up. <laughs> Is that six? Is that six already? Are we at 60% of jiggification? <laughs> Almost fell. But I didn't. Almost done on the inside. Fuck! I didn't want to- Oh, wait! No, I did want to walk in that way. Look at that! I fucking forgot! There's another one! Bam! That's- That'll get the outside jiggy for, uh, this run. Suck on my wee wee, suck on my wee wee. The seven jiggies, son. Eat that shit up, Kazooie. Eyes don't give a fuck about your indigestion. She's gonna get indigestion from it. Where is this other fucking Jinjo in here? I know this fucking prick is in here. Let me go back this way. See if there's another. We're gonna do some exploring, kids. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh. I'm swimming, fucking dodge. Dodge roll. That's a move in Kingdom Hearts, an amazing game I'll never do a Let's Play on because it's incredibly long. Well, shit, where the hell is that fucking Jinjo? I know that motherfucker is inside Clanker. I am absolutely 100% certain that there is a Jinjo hiding in the depths of this guy's rectum. I don't know where it is. Wait, is that it? Oh, tease it! Found it. It's been teased. Can I get up here? Yeah, here we go. Kill this guy. It's like, oh, I'll just fucking swim my way out. Or will I fucking swim straight down into the briny deep where a purple Jinji awaits? Jinja! Wow, it's only the second one I got. I gotta step up my gingification. If this was like an Xbox 360 game of new in the Lego Star Wars fashion, there'd be a Jinjo locator. It's true. See, he was on the other side of the fins. I am so... Smart. I'm not gonna toot my own cock, but I'm a genius. There's some more shit on the outside, I believe, and then everything else is uh, underwater. Yeah, we gotta go over here. A little bit of pipe play, a little bit of pipe play, and then we'll probably get lost underwater because the tunnels are a little bit confusing uh, until I remember the the. 
color coordination. Dun, 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 dun. I also haven't gotten either of the two extra honeycomb things, which is disheartening because I can't remember where they are. Uh, you get scared sometimes. Uh, uh, extra guy, extra guy that's no good because you lose all your extra guys the second you get a new game or you start a new game, but extra guy nonetheless. We're doing good here, kids. Some people might say, you're taking forever. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. No, I'm saying, like, I wouldn't say that for your own safety. If I were you, I would shut the fuck up and stop saying that. Uh, last spot I got. Oh, here we go. This is it. I think this is the last. Oh! Damn it. Need the fin. Come on, Finny. Hook me up. Hook a brother up. Hook him up with some fins. Oh, he's dead. He's dead already? I'm a machine. There's absolutely no other explanation. I am a tank. There is a up here. Tease it. Slide, slide. Missed everything. Amazing. There's one. There's one. We're on the board, and I think I just remembered what the second one is. Yup. Stroke of genius. Stroke of genius. <sighs> I usually end up having to do this part several times. I think there's something in here, too. Oh my god! Something? More like everything! My whole life was in there. Jinjos are my lives. Have a heart. Adopt a Jinjo. Jinjos are like house elves in Harry Potter. I, I know, I feel like Hermione would start a stupid campaign to try and, like, increase Jinjo, Jinjo rights or something, and everyone would be like, STF you! They're Gingus, Maximus, Erectus. Oh, that was fucking tippity top. Okay, I think that's everything above ground. Now I need to start swimming undies and look for the second honeycomb, which is cleverly hidden. Is it cleverly hidden here? Yes, it is. Look at that, underwater. You gotta put it under the pipe. Well, something's happening. Something's happening. Extra, extra health. We've got a health increase. It's been confirmed. All right. So you got to remember the color pattern so you don't keep ending up going in the same pipe. That one right in front of us, you can see it's a yellow. We know that yellow leads back to the original section because that's the yellow that you look clanker head on when you come into this area. So don't need to go in there just as far as like remembering which sections we've cleared because we're gonna have to swim down in here and clear every section so we'll start in this first one just to the right of it dead end immediately which is fine because it you know gets it out of the way unbelievable that he did not collect that totem like I was speechless for a moment there couldn't comprehend that always keep going up and getting air Bloop. Because you live longer when you have air and you don't drown. Drowning's bad. Drowning's bad. Okay. Dr 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 drowning. Drowning's bad. Kids. Drowning's, drowning's bad. Okay. Jinjo. That's four. Sweet. One more. We're ready to go. Okay. So now this one loops you around. So you can ignore the right side of him I've now completed. I've gone through the yellow. The green, which came out through the other green, the other yellow straight ahead. So now you can move on to the green directly behind him. It's a system, folks. It works. Don't question it. Only a few more. I think Jiggy's left. I think I have seven. And one more Jinjo would be a Jiggy. And about 15 or so musical notes. It's going to get musical up in high, brah. Mutant crabs in here. Mutant crabs will fuck you up. They're all like, look, look at his eyeball. It's disfigured because he's a fucking freak of nature, you fucking freak of nature. To so fuck these guys up, you want to do ground pounds and or just this is the easy route. Oh, which I highly recommend because those feathers are great and you can only hold 10. So you're constantly going to be at maximum. You might want to save it like... Oh, I could use invincibility. But besides this level, I don't know if there's any 
jiggies or notes or jinjos or anything like that that you need the invincibility to get to. So it's like, fuck it. If you have it, just use it on enemies because it helps. Ooh, look at that. I pecked them over and now I'm going to finish her. Finish her! Crushing blow. Crushing blow. That was an incredible victory. These guys got their ass beat, so they're gonna give me their gold because that's what I do. I'm like, I'm like a barbarian. Banjo the barbarian. He's just like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna fucking kill everything until I get gold. And people are like, yeah, he's a good guy. That's fine. He's a ruthless motherfucker. He is a thug. The original OG. That's eight. I only need one more. And one Jinjo. So let's find that little tyke, shall we? Ha <laughs> Let's do it. I think I'm done with... Clanker completely, let's hope. I forgot also there's, uh, some notes and other goodies in these pipes. Don't have to get the red feathers and shit, but it's an easy way to clear it, just so you know, hey, there's nothing in there. Don't have to go in it. I hate... taking the same path. I hate being like, oh, what's in there? Fuck, I've been here. Oh, what's that? Fuck, I've been here. So you might as well just swim through and pick everything up. That way, if you see there's nothing in there, at least you know you went through it. And there's not that many. If you just start on the outside like this, this is the one you really should start in. Oh, are we going to get 100 right here? Well, I missed it. I think we are, gents. We are. Oh, I'm going to drown. Oh, shit. So I'm going to haul ass out of here. And I'm going to fucking swim up like a motherfucker. And don't think I'm going to make it. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Holy shit. That was close. If this was the original N64 version, I would have been flipping a shit because I'm two fucking jiggies away from a hundred and I would have lost all of them. Our musical notes, not jiggies. I'm sorry. I would have lost all of them. I would have died. Restarted the level at zero. Holy crap. That said, if this was the N64 version, me not dying would have been uh, a victory 10,000 times more triumphant. Yeah, I found all 100. Suck a dick. Kind of lost track of how I was going through the rooms. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, so those two on the left I still have to go through. And I think the last Jinjo... This is informative, folks. Not funny at all. You wanted comedy? Get the fuck out! We don't do funny business here, you piece of shit! But if you want to check out this game and possibly get some achievements... This is the way to be. I'm pretty sure this fucking Jinjo is in one of these pipes. Let's check this pipe on the end here. I'm straying from my set pattern. You really should start in one spot and systematically go through it like, I went through this one, I went through this one, I went through this one, because all that's going to happen is you're going to end up forgetting which ones you've gone through and fucking kill yourself. Is he in here? Is he in here? Nope, went through that one. I think I've probably been through all of them, so I could be mistaken. He could not be under... He might. He could not, might be under here, not this is. I'll go through this last one over here, which I think I... Yep, that's the one with the musical notes. All right, so Gingy fucked me. I don't hear him screaming, Gingy! So I'm going to guess he's not down here. Wait, shh, listen. In here. Nope! All right. <sighs> Ooh. Before you fucking go through here, never go through one of these side tunnels without full health. You're gonna fucking drown. You're gonna drown and feel like a dum dum for it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I don't believe I've went in this one yet. Hopefully, there's a Jinjo over here. But I could have fucking sworn there was one at the bottom, under the, and in one of those pipes somewhere. But my memory's slipping, kids. I'm fucking getting up there in age nine. The last fucking one I need is a Jinjo, and I'm done with this level already. That's it. All right, hopefully he's in that last thing, last tunnel, which should be to my left, if I'm not mistaken. Keep your bearings together. Remember where the fuck you are. It gets confusing as shit if you don't. Get some healthy. Bloop. Bloop. All right, so that was the last one. This motherfucker's got to be underwater somewhere. You son of a prick. Where are you? So as you can see, I'm a fucking retard and forgot to get the goddamn green Jinjo when I was down here. Although I didn't forget. I thought I actually grabbed him. But I just saved you about 10 minutes of me swimming and wandering around this level. Hang on. Ugh. Going, where the fuck is this green Jinjo? So I just cut to him. Guess what? Fucking got him! 
I can't believe I fucking swam right past that little prick and I never I never picked him up. Fucking silly me. Boy, is my face red. We're done with Clanker's Cavern already. We actually would have made really good time if I didn't spend so long uh, looking for him. Oh, don't drown. Don't drown, you little shit. There we go. Now all we have to do is make our elegant escape. Grab the fucking extra level Jinjo that's... I always mix them up now. My brain sucks. The extra level Jiggy that you get from smashing in Gruntilda's fucking face. Which we'll do. Trust me. We're gonna smash in her fucking face. With my uh, beak. Kazooie's gonna be like... And she's gonna go... I won't be able to um I won't um be um be believable it. Do these things come back? Oh no, they're scared. They're dead. They're scared like bitches. Bitches without switches are no threat to me. Oh, ah! It's textbook platformer. There might have even been a thing in the menu to just leave the world, but we don't need that shit. All right, I may have fucked up that jump a little bit. That's fine. I'm a bear and bird. I can swim. Can't keep me down. Can't keep the man down, my fucker. Nine cues included. Through here. Boom. Through that. We're done. That's three worlds done. Round out by getting the eleventh jiggy of the world. Smash your fucking face in, you fucking ugly cunt. Done and done! That's another 11 jiggies, 100 notes, some okum bokums, two more honeycomb swirly things, extra lives, everything happened in part four. You had action, there was none. You had comedy, there was zero. You had long, boring parts, I cut those out. And you had information that doesn't mean anything to any of you. Now who's got egg all over their face?